First alert continues because of the winds that are going to start to pick up. National Weather Service issued wind advisories for these shaded blue counties. That just means the wind's likely to get a little bit stronger. This is the area, too, where we can start to get some elevated dust because of the winds earlier in the day, and that could advance some of the blowing dust and sand in our direction. So it looks as though we could see some of the reduced visibilities by later on tomorrow and into tomorrow evening. We're anticipating wind gusts right here at 40. The winds start to come down a bit over the weekend, down to 35 on Saturday, 35 on your Sunday. Now, we're going to start to gradually cool things down as a couple of fronts come through here. So the winds, especially on Sunday, will have a little bit more of a bite to it, make it feel a little bit colder. And then Monday, the winds come down to 30, and then uh, we'll drop down a little bit more Tuesday, Wednesday, and then pick it back up a little bit low and windy once we head into your Thursday. So here's what we're talking about in the wind department. Gusts right here, 50 to 25, with uh, those peak winds at 40. I'm still anticipating the times of 4 in the afternoon to 8 o'clock tomorrow night, the strongest winds will hit us, and then the winds will just gradually weaken after 8 o'clock. I think they're going to be with us all the way till midnight, early into your Saturday morning, just not quite hitting 40 miles an hour. You folks on the east, northeast sides of town will get the brunt of the winds. So if you've got trash pickup tomorrow, if it's in the morning, early afternoon, you should be okay. It's going to be later in the day into the evening that the winds, of course, will pick up and become stronger. Look at the temperatures out there. Uh, pretty mild across town. 76 in Las Cruces. We're 77 here in town. 72 in Alamogordo. You folks out in Luda County and Deming at 71 degrees. Here's how things are looking on our latest future track computer model. 9 o'clock tonight. Notice the clouds in place. Maybe tracking some sprinkles, some light rain farther out towards the west of us. The model wants to bring in maybe a few sprinkles. It's going to be pretty hard. The lower layers of the atmosphere, pretty dry. So I think what d develops out there in the form of any rain will likely evaporate. But you'll notice as we make our way into early tomorrow morning, still dealing with some clouds hanging around. 6 o'clock in the morning. Then once we enter about 7 o'clock or so, notice how the clouds quickly Exit off to the east of us. We have clearing skies. Lots of sunshine will develop. Then the winds will gradually pick up. But temperatures are going to be knocking on that door of 80 degrees. We should have clear skies in here for Friday night. And even the weekend, fair amount of sunshine. But it will be a little cooler. And we will be dealing with those winds. Again, gusting, moderate range of the windy category at right around 35. So here's your weekend. 68 Saturday. 66 anticipated on Sunday. Windy through the weekend. 67 Las Cruces on your Saturday. And your Sunday at 62 degrees. Here's your forecast. Overnight lows in Donata County will be fairly mild with the clouds hanging around right around 50. Tomorrow will be in the upper 70s, right around 80 degrees. You folks in Donata County, temperatures down into the 40s. And your high temperatures for tomorrow, again, right around 80 degrees with windy conditions. So 79 tomorrow, 69 Saturday, 66 on Sunday. We get a little bit cooler with the passage of those uh, fronts, but the winds will hang around. And then into next week, we see those temperatures dropping down to maybe 59 on Tuesday. Watch out. Here we go by Wednesday morning. Maybe touch and go with freezing temperatures down to 30. Back into the mid-60s by Wednesday and Thursday, Mark. All right, Doppler.